Since 2018, I've been living in a van, traveling the country in search of beautiful new locations. For the last two years, Texas has been my home base. I've been parking on a friend's farm while I build out my new tiny home on wheels. And with the build nearly complete, Nomad Winter in Arizona is calling my name. I have many friends out there who I haven't seen in years. It's time to hit the road and reconnect with my Nomad family. But first, I've got to deal with my stuff. I've accumulated quite a lot of stuff in the last two years, mostly tools and materials from the build out. In fact, I ended up with so much stuff that I had to rent a storage unit just to hold it all. This climate controlled unit cost me $150 a month. Now I've done the math on the value of the items inside and how long I'll be gone times 150 a month. And I've decided I'm better off just letting the contents go rather than paying to keep them. Now I'm not going to lie. It's hard to get rid of stuff, especially things that you can use in the future. Partial rolls of tape, miscellaneous wiring and clothes that I only wear sometimes. But as a nomad who lives in a van, you just can't take it all with you. Getting rid of stuff is a natural part of this lifestyle. Even when you're not doing a build out, consumerism still manages to sneak up on you. And before you know it, every nook and cranny of your van is packed with random stuff that you thought you needed, but you rarely use. So today I'm tackling my hoard of stuff. This is my first major step to heading back out on the road. And after five years of being a nomad and traveling all over the country, I still get so excited when one chapter is closing and another one is beginning. I get that nervous excitement in my stomach as the days get closer and closer, you start to feel it. You can feel a whole new adventure is on the horizon. Your entire world is about to change. You're going to come across all kinds of unexpected challenges and adventures and rewards. A lot of people comment on the challenges of van life, constantly moving, limited access to toilets and showers. Right now I'm getting fuel for my diesel heater. This tank will last less than a week, then I'll be filling it up again. Let me tell you, van life is a challenge. It's an adventure. It's not easy. It's rewarding. I love the quote, the best parts of life are rarely easy and the easy parts are rarely the best. And so I have turned my back on the ease that society has created. Sure, I could be taking an Uber home from a mediocre job right now. And with a few taps on my phone, DoorDash could bring me my dinner while I sit on my couch and watch Netflix. That's a very easy life and it's out there. But is that the best life? I don't think so. I don't want to slowly slip into old age. Having conversations with coworkers about the latest binge worthy Netflix series. I don't want to put my life on hold for 25 years saying one day I'll retire and then I'll travel. I've sat on the edge of a mountaintop at 11,000 feet. I've blown out a tire eight miles from cell phone reception. And I've fallen in love with beautiful women under the stars, even if it only lasted for a few nights. These are the experiences that keep me going, one mile at a time. I think most of us are on a quest to feel their best, regardless of their situation. I've tried many diets in the pursuit of just this. If you've been on the internet at all in the last 12 months, you've probably seen countless media about gut health and how that can affect your mind and body. So I'm on a mission to improve my gut health and have stumbled across the milk diet. It's a short term diet that aims to restore the balance inside your gut. This diet consists of drinking a gallon and a half of raw milk every day. Now, at first I thought that's crazy. How could someone drink that much milk? But after doing it for a few days, I found it's actually quite easy. Being a traveler with limited space for ingredients and cooking appliances, I actually find it quite refreshing, <laughs> no pun intended, to not have to think about cooking meals. All I have to do is keep my glass topped off with milk throughout the day 
and I can easily meet that goal. You know what's interesting, after my second day of being on the milk diet, I actually found myself craving milk. Now, I haven't been a milk drinker for years, so I was really surprised that my body wasn't craving water or soda or tea. It just wanted milk. So I feel like that's a sign that I must be doing something right. But you know how diets go. So I'll keep you guys posted and let you know how it goes. So here I am at my friend's ranch in Texas, preparing to hit the road. It's like a ritual for me. When I'm starting a new chapter, heading out on an adventure, I always start by cleaning my entire space inside and out. It's like turning a new leaf. It's a sign of a new beginning. As I'm washing my van, my mind is racing with thoughts of adventures in the past and what my near future could look like. Honestly, I'm just super excited and I'm grateful to have y'all here joining with me on this journey. So I appreciate each and every one of you and hopefully I'll see some of you on the road.